Five Minute Tax Guides from your Five Minute Tax Guy. One of the tools that an individual must learn to use to be a skilled tax preparer are tax publications published by the IRS and other informational sources. The IRS publishes numerous publications and booklets to help individuals and companies prepare an accurate tax return. While some of the publications that the IRS publishes can be daunting and overly technical, as a general rule, they can be extremely helpful when trying to wade through the seemingly endless deluge of tax laws and rules that can sometimes leave a taxpayer feeling like they will surely drown in the sea of information. I think of the tax code as a universe, which is comprised of all its individual components. While our universe is a fascinating creation and one can spend hours upon hours admiring its complexity and beauty, you can get lost in the endless minutia that is not necessary to understand to appreciate the universe. The universe is made up of galaxies, which are made up of solar systems, which are made up of stars, planets, comets, asteroids, and other heavenly bodies, which are all made up of their own individual components down to the smallest components, such as molecules, atoms, electrons, protons, neutrons, quarks, and things that we don't even know about yet. Such is the tax universe. While it can provide endless hours of entertainment, that was a little joke. You don't need to understand all of its complexities to be able to prepare a tax return. What you do need to know is where to go to get the information that you do need to prepare your return. Not to fear. The 5-Minute Tax Guy is here to guide you through the rivers of dogma so that you can gain at least the modicum of skills sufficient to research those never-ending questions related to your tax return. Can I claim my elderly parent who lives in an assisted care facility? Can I get an education tax credit for the tuition I paid for my 23-year-old daughter or grandson? Can I claim my 45-year-old son who lives in my basement and hasn't worked a day in his life? What happens if my ex-husband claims my son who lived with me all year and for whom I provide all the support? And can I claim the tips I gave to the strippers down at the Booby Bungalow as an entertainment expense for my business? These are just some of the questions that might come up in the process of completing and filing an income tax return. The first thing to understand about IRS publications is that there are specific publications that address specific tax topics and then there are publications with more general information. It's a good idea to start out with a general information publication and then work your way to the more specific topic publications. In this video, I will deal exclusively with the subject of individual tax returns. The general information IRS publication that covers the topic of individual income tax is publication 17, or just pub 17. This publication is available on the IRS website or just by doing a Google search for Pub17. In the search results, be sure to select the link that says PDF. Specifically, the search result will look something like this. This publication covers each of the topics that you might need to be conversant with when completing a U.S. individual tax return. Here is what the table of contents looks like. You can see that it covers the general topics such as income, adjustments to income, standard and itemized deductions, and credits. It also contains the tax table for looking up how much tax you owe on your taxable income and an explanation of the tax computation method if your income is above $100,000. And it also has other general information about taxes. Be sure that you're referring to the publication for the year that you are working with. You can download prior year forms and publications from the IRS website by going to irs.gov, click on Forms and Instructions, and then click on Prior Years. As I mentioned earlier, Pub17 is a general information publication. Once you get into a general topic, you may find that you need more information than what Pub17 offers. As an example, if you are interested in the topic of Earned Income Tax Credit, or EITC, then you could refer to IRS Publication 596, which is about a 40-page booklet that deals specifically with the subject of that credit. 
Pub 17 does not contain the EITC table, which you can refer to to find out how much you will receive as a credit based on your filing status and the number of qualifying children that you are claiming. As shown in the illustration at the right, you can go to page 30 of Pub 596 to access that table. As noted earlier, there are numerous IRS publications that each deal with a specific tax topic. In addition to IRS publications, there are other sources that you can refer to, such as the U.S. Master Tax Guide published by Walters Kluwer. This is not a source that I would recommend for the squeamish, as it is very technical and its target audience is tax professionals and not Joe Q. Public, who is just trying to prepare his own tax return. You can always search sites such as Amazon and eBay to find books related to income tax that are published by sources other than the IRS. While many of these works are very good sources of tax information, you must approach them with the understanding that, number one, they are not official canon, and number two, they are written and published by individuals and companies whose sole aim is to make money, not necessarily to provide information. And this is not to say that they don't provide valuable information. Just keep in mind that they may provide information, but before you rely on that information, it must be checked and verified against official sources, meaning specifically the IRS. Oh, by the way, in answer to that question at the beginning of the video, yes, maybe you can deduct the tips you paid to the strippers down at the booby bungalow but only if your business is in the adult entertainment industry. But here's some good news. You can almost certainly deduct the cost of those strippers you bought for your electrician business. And as for that 45-year-old deadbeat son living in your basement, maybe you can get him a job down at the booby bungalow. That's it for this session, and thanks for watching the video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on the next screen to keep informed on upcoming tax changes. For more great 5-Minute Tax Guides, check out the other videos in my 5-Minute Tax Guide video series. See the list in the description below this video.